Good morning, Journey Tipsters. Today is Monday and it's January 23rd, 2023. Let's see what we have going on on our Journey Jumpstart this morning. On Friday, we didn't have Journey Jumpstart because we had assembly. I hope you all had so much fun at assembly. I know I did. All right, let's see. We celebrated our value of you are important at our assembly on Friday. So I wonder if you can guess what value we'll be focused on next. Think, think, think. And then in the count of three, show me the hand signal for which value you think we're focused on next. Three, two, one. Show love, you were right. Show love is the value that we are focused on for the next few weeks. So we're back at the beginning of our values and we will be talking about our value of show love each day. And then we will celebrate our show love value winners in two weeks at assembly. So let me tell you how to show love. We show self-love by coming to school with our uniform on our homework completed and ready to learn. That's one way that you can show love to yourself is being prepared for school. Today, it's Monday. It's kind of cold outside. And the alarm went off this morning and I was so tired. I just wanted to sleep. And I started to turn the alarm off. And then I thought, nope. I'm going to get up and I'm going to get ready for school. I'm going to put on some nice clothes and I'm going to get to school early so that I can be prepared for my day. So that's how I showed love to myself this morning. And actually, I feel a lot better. And I was able to stop by Starbucks and get me coffee because I decided to wake up early. So I showed myself a little bit of love today. So you can show yourself love by wearing your uniform, coming to school with your homework ready and being ready to learn. Let me see you trying that today. All right, now let's think also about what our intentions are for this week. It's Monday mindfulness, so set your intentions. What is one thing that you would like to accomplish today? Accomplish means like something that you want to get done or something that you want to do. So think to yourself, what is something that you want to do today that you want to get done today? Maybe you really want to learn something new in math. Maybe you really want to play with someone new at recess. Maybe you want to talk to your friends about what happened on the weekend, which you should do at lunch and recess, not during lesson. So think about that. Now turn to your shoulder partner and tell them, what is one thing that you want to accomplish today? Three, two, one, go. Coming back together in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I hope you were able to tell your shoulder partner something that you wanted to accomplish today. All right, remember our lunch expectations. You all are doing a really good job and I am so impressed. And that means lots of people are winning prizes. And even on Friday, some classes got talkies because they had met their expectations all week. I believe there were two second grade classes that got their talkies. So only those two classes got their talkies. So see who, let's see who can get it this week. All right, tomorrow, fourth grade will be going on their field trip and it's re-enrollment time. All right, and it's needs assessment time. Third and fourth grade will take their needs assessment at school and pre-K, fourth through second grade. Let your parent know to complete their assessment. There will be a prize for the grade with the highest completion rate. So tell your parents to complete the survey that they got in their email. And we're still talking about Lunar New Year. So I want to play the video here. Sure. By one of 12 animals in the Chinese zodiac, chosen by the Jade Emperor of China centuries and centuries ago. You're the According rat. to legend, a long time ago in China, the Jade Emperor held a great race. 
the first 12 animals to reach his palace would be the winners, and they would each get a year named after them in their honor. During the race, the ox was winning until he had to cross a rushing river. The rat was right behind him and couldn't swim very well. So the kind ox let the rat ride on his back. As soon as they got to the other side, the rat jumped off and scurried to the finish line to win the race first. That's why the first year in the Chinese zodiac calendar is the year of the rat. Eleven other animals reached the palace to create the 12-year cycle of the Chinese zodiac. It's said that the animal your birth year is named after can shape your personality and destiny. You might be honest like a dragon or smart like a monkey. When your animal takes its turn in the zodiac cycle, legend has it that your year will be full of surprises. But no matter which animal you are, everyone is excited to honor these ancient traditions, even in modern New Year celebrations. All right. So it's the year of the rabbit right now. And I'm, I am a, a rat. That's my zodiac, my Chinese zodiac sign. So I guess we won the race. All right, let's keep going. Today is the year of the, or this year is the year of the rabbit. These are all of the years that have been years of the rabbit. So it happens every 12 years because there are 12 zodiac signs in the lunar Chinese calendar. Okay. If you have an excuse note reminder, please make sure you give it to your teacher so that they can give it to Ms. Reyes and you can get your absence excused today. The weather's going to be sunny and kind of cool outside. You will have cheese pizza, chicken spaghetti, sloppy joes. Those are your choices. Cheese pizza, chicken spaghetti, or sloppy joes. Fruit, veggies, and milk. And if you were curious, remember Cartier won. Cartier Johnson in first grade won the scooter for perfect attendance. And next cycle, these are going to be the prizes that you could win. A skateboard or roller skates. So that is super exciting. All right. Make sure you got your perfect attendance certificate. You will also get a per perfect attendance pencil and you'll enter a raffle to win roller skates or a skateboard special surprise during recess for you if you got a certificate so please come to school every single day it's super important all right these kipsters have birthdays today debony in second grade and aileen in pre-k4 happy birthday kipsters come to the front office to get your birthday surprise and we are going to have a great day during primary school love.